Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to RoboCup at Home Education online classroom for standard platform Pepper Robot. So today uh, we are entering the second class and uh, today we'll talk about Pepper speech interaction. So uh, once again, welcome back everyone to this uh, classroom. Uh, and also uh, very happy that we have uh, Austin from Software Robotics today with us. So um, hopefully today we can see some demo uh, while let everyone to learn how to actually develop the speech interaction for Pepper. Okay, so um, as usual, uh, we will um, run this uh, class for two hours uh, from 7.30 to 9.30 uh, following uh, Malaysia and also Chinese time. And um, today we have uh, three parts that I'm going to explain after this. Uh, but first thing first is, uh, so for anyone that just joined uh, today, I mean like if today is the first uh, class that you attend, so um, please check out the three link that's listed uh, in front of you. So the first one is uh, the online classroom details uh, at our homepage, robocup at home edu.org homepage. Then um, over there, you can find all the timing and also the meeting link, right? And uh, we have a meeting link QR code over there. So we will use the same meeting link for all the classes. So next week when you come in, uh, you can use the same uh, meeting link, okay? Then um, the materials in front of you, uh, the, the slides that you, you can see in front of you. So you can actually find this slide uh, at our course material website, robotforall.net, okay? So you just uh, sign up an account and then um, enroll, then you can get these materials. And also for um, this class will be recorded and the video recording we will put uh, together with the class materials as well. So when you log into robot, uh, robotforall.net, you can find the slides and also the video recording of the past uh, classes, okay? Right, and lastly, if you have anything you want to ask that um, you didn't able to make it to ask uh, online, you can still discuss. Um, there is a forum in the class group, so you can join the class group and we can discuss over there, okay? So without further ado, I would like to start. But before I start, um, uh, last reminder. So for everyone, please refrain from turn on your uh, webcam, USB camera, and also your microphone, unless uh, during the Q&A or if you have any question you want to ask uh, throughout the whole period. So um, the best practice is uh, we will try to give you time to ask questions. So other than that, please um, turn, keep your camera and also your microphone turned off. Okay, right. Um, usually we will have uh, a break during um, the session. Uh, I think like we have three sessions today. So yeah, we will have time for you to ask questions. And especially for our community in Thai, if you have any question that you would like to ask in um, Thai language, or if you don't really uh, understand certain part, yeah, feel free to ask us because um, uh, to, today we also have our uh, local Thai community member with us that are going to uh, explain things uh, to you in Thai language for our Thai language support as well. Okay, so before I start, I would like to invite our uh, local Thai uh, community member to explain what I just said, um, especially to the newcomer, and then we will proceed to start our class. Oh, hi, Sophie. Can you hear me? Hello, everyone. For this day, it's a part of the paper platform. It's a standard platform. It's the same as the last two hours. If you have any questions, เพิ่งมาจอยคลาสนี้เป็นครั้งแรกนะครับก็ขอให้เข้ามาจอยในส่วนของออนไลน์คลาสรูมนะครับที่ robotforall.net นะครับก็จะสามารถเห็นในส่วนของคลาสแบบทิวเวลนะครับก็คือสไลด์ทั้งหมดที่เขาสอนรวมถึงวิดีโอที่สามารถดูย้อนหลังได้นะครับก็ให้ไปทําการรีจิสเตอร์ใน robotforall.net เนาะส่วนถ้าหากท่านใดเนี่ยมีข้อสงสัยหรือว่าแบบเจอปัญหาอะไรเนี่ยเราก็อยากให้คนในคอมมูนิตี้นะครับเข้าไปช่วยเหลือเข้าไปให้ให้คำแนะนําหรืออะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับก็สามารถที่จะเปิดเข้าไปใช้ฟังก์ชันฟอรัมของคลาสกรุ๊ปข้างล่างนะครับลิงก์สุดท้ายที่เป็นระบบฟอร์ดเน็ตกรุ๊ปเนาะก
็สามารถที่จะเข้าไปโพสอะไรตรงนั้นได้นะครับแล้วก็เอ่อไม่แนะนํานะครับให้เปิดเอ่อกล้องหรือว่าไมโครโฟนนะครับถ้าไม่ได้ถูกอินไว้เนาะเพราะว่าเอ่อวิดีโออันนี้เนี่ยมันถูกรีคอร์ดแล้วก็จะถูกเอ่อปล่อยสู่เอ่อสาธารณะเนาะก็คือเพื่อ privacy ของท่านด้วยนะครับอ่าโอเคเจสซี่ right thank you okay so today we will um Uh, explain uh, the pepper speech interaction development, and we will split to these three parts. So the first one is speech synthesis development, then the second part is uh, dialogue system development, and the third part is uh, sounds localization development. Right. So before we start explain this uh, uh, content, uh, just a, a refreshment, a, a reminder for you is uh, to refresh your mind that what we have done last week is uh, we show you how to install. Uh, the choreograph software, and also we show you the location for our example code, right? Uh, at uh, GitHub. So um, you need these two things. So today, before the start of the class, I I, I wish to um, uh, verify with you or check with you, uh, everyone, to make sure that you have already installed choreograph uh, at your local PC, or or you can yeah apply the virtual desktop. Uh, to use if let's say you want to have uh, further development with uh, Python and ROS, so you can use that as well. Then also you go to you have uh, downloaded or git clone uh, the our sample code, the RoboCup at Home Education um, repository uh, at GitHub, so that the example that we are going to show later on during our explanation for all the uh, content. Uh, we will use the example from the same repository, and you can actually get those. So you you actually can yeah clone the example and straight away open up with your choreograph, and you already have the uh, example code. So uh, that actually can speed up a lot for your development. Okay, but of course um, we will uh, encourage you to treat the example code as a as a reference and try to work out on your own. Okay, even uh, because as especially today is the first class that we talk about the functionality of development. Uh, so it is good also for you to learn how to actually create a project, how to actually start working on the choreograph uh, interface and so on. Okay, right. So make sure you have this two thing uh, with you, then we will start. Right, so the first part is uh, speech synthesis. So follow the name is we try to make make Pepper able to speak, okay, able to say something, right? So that is the most fundamental uh, function for service robot. And Pepper uh, is designed to actually interact with uh, uh, normal human being or normal, how to say, public uh, in a very natural way. Because um, as you can see from the website, Pepper is uh, something like an, an um, a a, a humanoid robot with a human with a human like emotion. So it is very good or it is designed to actually uh, have a very human like expression. So in the speech synthesis, we can actually learn not just to say something, but also there is technique to uh, make the expression more close to uh, the feeling and also the emotion that you want to express especially you can think of how we can design a pepper for example uh, to, to 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 give a performance like storytelling all right so in storytelling it's not just to read out the script but you have to do some gesture for example you have to change your intonation uh, for example the speed of um, saying the, the the volume and so on so you will learn all this thing in the speech synthesis right then the second part is we try to not just one way because interaction or communication is two way. So you need Pepper to be able to listen to what others say to uh, Pepper and also try to understand the content and try to give appropriate response. Okay, so in the second part, we will learn how to design the dialogue system so that Pepper can actually recognize. First, it needs to be able to uh, recognize what the word said by uh, the human and then uh, based on the content, uh, how Pepper can decide what to respond and how to respond. Okay, so this will be explained in uh, the second part. 
Then lastly, it's about this sound localization. As uh, I explained last week that uh, at the head of uh, the pepper, we actually have the microphone array. And this microphone array will help pepper to actually localize the sound direction. So localize means you able to, uh, pepper able to detect the direction where the sound come from. So from there, because pepper is designed to uh, work in 3D, environment in, in real environment real world so uh, in real world it is a 3d environment which is like yeah people or if you try to imagine when we uh, design the pepper and work it for example in a retail in a shopping mall and so on so the customer will come in various direction okay and how pepper can actually recognize where this sound come from and from who then from there it can actually turn to that person and by human custom okay uh, it is very rude if let's say you don't like face the person and talk face to face so this uh, functionality will help us to get the sound loca uh, location or the sound direction and we can eventually at the end of this class you can see we have actually an example that we can make the pepper rotate to the uh, direction of the sound and try to use whatever that you have developed in the dialogue and in the speech to interact with the uh, person okay so basically this is uh, the over overview of what today we were going to cover okay so let's start with the first one speech synthesis development okay so for the speech synthesis development the objective is to use the choreograph to let the pepper robot to use different method to speak different content and modify the speech intonation and language. OK, so this is the, uh, the objective for this part. And you can see over here, there are a few things that is uh, uh, you need to take notice. First, it's like uh, we can actually change uh, different languages. So uh, we also mentioned that Pepper able to support up to 20 plus uh, languages, different languages. And then um, the content, uh, how to say the development will be the same okay it's just that you need to change the language list like how we change the language setting of our phone is it's as simple as that actually you just change that uh, change the setting from english to chinese from english to japanese and so on so later uh, you will see how we actually set what kind of language we want to do and also if let's say you have multiple language package installed uh, in pepper you can actually switch between the languages uh, within your program as well, but you need to know how to specify. So later on, you will see how we do that. Okay, so that's the first thing. First thing is the language you can change. And then uh, just now I said about the intonation. So uh, the, the speed, how uh, you want Pepper to speak certain words and also the, the intonation, the how to say the volume and so on. You can actually modify this and this will, uh, how to say, uh, very strongly change the way how Pepper deliver the same content. Okay, so for example, like um, you have one passage, you ask Pepper to read out, so uh, it will read out in a very normal um, feeling. But if you add different speech, uh, sorry, different speed, and also different uh, tone, then it will change the mood, and also it will change uh, how the content being delivered. Okay, verbally. So this is something that you 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 want to learn so that you can make Pepper to uh, express in a very uh, with full with emotion. Okay, and full with uh, the feeling. So it is not really robot like, as as what everyone understand robot like saying. But Pepper can actually speak like a real human. Okay, and then um, not just verbal uh, expression, but also uh, we will cover a bit about the gesture, okay? The unspoken uh, language, which is the body gesture, because Pepper is designed uh, to have very uh, flexible upper limb and also the head, neck, and also the upper body. So um, we actually have several tools to help you to uh, give some body gesture when um, we design the content to say, right? So you can you can actually design the the action. Uh, pair with the appropriate um, content that Pepper is going to say, right? So this tool will will improve the overall uh, expression of Pepper in terms of speech uh, delivery. Okay, so these are the things that you are, you are going to learn how to develop in, in this uh, 
upcoming yeah, session. Okay, right. So um, first thing that you need to know is uh, there are actually several instruction box uh, that uh, relate to the function or the development that I just say. Okay, so now uh, I will uh, introduce these boxes to you. Uh, later on, Austin will help me to do the demonstration. Okay, so you will see how to put all this thing to 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 turn it into a program, and then we can run it on paper. Okay, so first, uh, in order to say something, we need the say uh, instruction box. So I hope you still remember instruction box is uh, how to say the the graphical um, unit in Corel Graph that uh, encapsulate the Python code uh, to make Pepper do some action. Okay, for example, say say is uh, to to the instruction box for Pepper to say to speak, right? And then you can enter the text in the in the box, and then the pep, when you execute this box, uh, Pepper will say something. And over here, you can see there are actually two types of input on stop on start on stop and one type of output which is on stop, right? So you will see how 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 to do how to use this thing later on. And also you um, may notice that there is actually a wrench uh, that 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 symbol at the lower left hand corner. So that is actually the setting button. So when you click on it, you will open up the setting um, windows and you can do some set. Later on we will see, okay? So basically it's to, to adjust the speed volume intonation and so on that um, uh, when, when Pepper want to say. So you can see whatever that I say just now, uh, all the functionality already like encapsulate into one box, which is the say. Okay, so with this say, it's very powerful and we frequently use this box and later you will see how to use this to make to make paper, uh, Pepper uh, able to deliver a speech. Okay, all right. That's the, the second instruction box is this uh, set language. So as I said just now, uh, we can actually switch the language or set what the language to use when deliver the content, right? So over here, we actually have a box for the set language, okay? And then um, this set language will um, be used for the current application, okay? So it is set so that whatever that happened after this will use this language, okay? And this is very important because like if you don't set this thing properly, uh, some error might happen. Okay, especially like when you are not using English, you are using other languages. Uh, if you don't set the language properly, most of the time beginner when they start to do the say and so on, when they didn't set the language, they, they have some difficulty or they have some problem. So this set language is something that uh, you need to use it at, a, at from the start. Okay, right. Okay, then we have uh, the delay instruction box. So this delay instruction box is something like the sleep function in, in programming. So if you know programming, sometimes we need to put a, a, a sleep function uh, to, to, how to say, to delay the, the execution of the of certain time. Okay, so over here, uh, this uh, instruction box uh, will wait uh, for a specific time after the input and then you will trigger the output, right? So this will delay. So Later, you will see why in the say we need to use this instruction box. It is actually to adjust the timing when um, we want to control the movement and also uh, the, the, the timing of when Pepper say something and then jump to another thing, right? So, so it is to adjust the speed of uh, the verbal expression and also the, the body movement as well, right? So uh, this delay is uh, very useful. Uh, we will use it a lot in many other uh, example uh, and other function as well. So you need to know that we have actually one box that do this delay. Okay, right. Then text edit editing instruction box. So this text editing instruction box is um, it's a box for us to write text. Okay, right. It, it might sound very appearance, but uh, this will be very useful when you have long text. For example, you want Pepper to read a story or you have, a, how to say, a, a paragraph of um, explanation of certain product, for example, then you can use this because like you might don't want to write everything because like in the C box, you can actually write quite long, but uh, you can't really see clearly and also it's limited space. So it's not easy for you to uh, to to type everything in. So this text edit will be more convenient when you want to like insert a very long paragraph 
for the robot to say. Okay, so this text uh, editing. And usually it is coupled with the say text, if I'm not mistaken, another another box. Okay, right. And then lastly, we have this uh, animated state. So as I said just now, when you design Pepper to say something, you can actually couple that expression with somebody uh, gesture. Okay, so this animated state will help you in the sense that we have some predefined movement uh, or we actually have um, software to help you to uh, randomize or try to design some appropriate action. Okay, so that when Pepper says something, it is not like without any body movement. So it's very robot like uh, saying. So with this animated say, uh, Pepper can actually uh, give some body movement when saying something. So this will actually give uh, the, how to say, uh, to make the expression more lively, to make the expression more human-like. Okay, so later we will see like how we use this animated say uh, to make very nice um, body gesture that uh, come together with the verbal expression. Right. Okay. So um, there are a few steps when we when we want to use these uh, boxes. Okay. So the first thing is when we want to use the set language. So we will set the language before the say. Okay, so as you see, as you can see uh, on the on the left hand side, so we need to set the language and today mainly we will use the English um, uh, language. But of course, if uh, you have uh, the other language uh, pack installed in your paper, you can actually set to other languages as well. And this thing is not just for the synthesis, but later on in the recognition, we also need to use this okay? because you need to uh, tell paper what language to, to, to listen and so on. Right. OK, then uh, another useful tips that uh, uh, I want to say here is like usually because we always need to set the language before the say, so you can actually combine them into a how to say a, an integrated box or a compound box uh, as we explained last week. So you can actually combine them to and then become like say in English. OK, a bigger box. OK. So you have the say in English, which is a compound box. You can see the icon change and then you can actually change uh, to some uh, combine with something to make it like say in paragraph or modify say parameters and so on. So there are a, a few other things. For example, like you can you can compile with uh, the text edit, the delay, the animator say and, and so on and say text. OK, so there are other things that you can merge or, or how to say link together with the say and become some things that useful that you can use it repeatedly because for example like when you want to use the C in English for several times so it is more convenient uh, you combine them together into a bigger box right in the customized box okay right then for the animated say just now I said um, you you um, how to say we have this animated box to help you to add some body gesture Right, and this body gesture can be, you can see like they got some option. For example, that you can randomize the body gesture. You can have it like contextual, right? Contextual, um, it based on the boxes that you use or based on the program, then uh, the software, the chorograph will try to pair some uh, contextual body gesture for the, uh, for the, for the content of uh, the verbal uh, expression. And up there, you can see like the voice shipping, the speed, the text, and so on. So these are the things that uh, in the animator say that will try to um, provide you the tools to design very uh, life, lively expression. Okay, right. So later we will see how uh, to how how this thing uh, in in actual practice. Okay, okay, right. So um. We will, we will, this is uh, the, the example. So we will, we will show you some example. So for example, you can make the pepper to say, hello, my name is pepper. And then I can say large paragraph of text like this. I can also change the tone of the speech, uh, the voice to speak, change the rate of speech. Uh, and then I'm, I'm using context mode and so on. So these are the example. So if you open up the example from the GitHub repository into choreograph, then these are a few effects that um, we, we we include in the example. Okay, so you can see this in practice uh, in in real life later on. 
All right, OK, so I have uh, done all the explanation. So the next is I would like to invite Austin uh, to show us the demonstration. Austin. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank for, you. And, and uh, uh, OK, I think we're uh, live host from. Yep, so yeah. I will uh, pass the screen to you. All right, I'm going to so share the screen. Show us, yeah, you can show us uh, how to do the uh, exam. OK, okay. okay. Yeah. right. OK, uh, like uh, how the previous pre 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 class uh, last week, uh, I guess in other, other members, just uh, our students or teachers just, just download this uh, software because of Core Graph. And uh, you might have a, you might have a lot of question after you, you got if you got installation on your um, on your computer. Um, if you got some questions, please let me know. If you face some problems, we, we we're gonna give you the uh, resolution as soon as possible. Okay. Even after this after this uh, training, you can uh, and you can ask me from the Q and A parts. <clears throat> OK, today we just uh, enter into the uh, dialogue parts and which means we just make Pepper see something uh, around this. Uh, this this kind of technology, we have a lot of things to 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 know, but it's basically uh, around some knowledge like uh, ESR uh, test the TTS. We, we call this the test speech. Yeah, you know, that's all that happens in um, around around some around this uh, a speech technology. <clears throat> and today, uh, I just follow the schedule from Jeffrey, and uh, I'm going to give you an introduction how this program running with that. Yeah, just like the, the material shared, we have a lot of parts uh, to share from this class, uh, including audio, vision, animation, movements. So today, we're only really focused on the audio parts. And it's still divided into the three categories, and which uh, have different functions. Maybe in the future, you can deploy any. You can use basic that functions into your business logic, by the way. So, uh, in in the first function, I would like to share. Uh, it's a simple one. Also, it's a basic. Uh, also, it's a basic and the crucial one. You always use when you're gonna use when we're gonna run your application, and also you can develop uh, some uh, some application. You need to say something, and uh, here I just cover all of that. You just pick one of that to into your application. Okay, uh, if uh, but I still I still go to go to more details about how this uh, this uh, software combined with how to pr program with that. I guess all the members uh, just uh, learn from the last last class. You must uh, back to the website for the developer to to learn the basic how to use software soft, uh, this is a cool graph software, and also you know how to compile little uh, program with that. OK, here uh, once I, I got the programs here uh, that in, includes it, uh, this uh, package as like a folder and um, this uh, this structure just uh, basically similar like uh, this one, right? So it's a behavior and translation and manifest man, man, manifest, but it's uh, but only is peers in the software in, in the core graph software. But once you just export these projects, and you're gonna share all the project to others. It's just this look like this. It's a package like a folder, and also you can zip it, zip it up, and uh, transfer to other people. <clears throat> and other people just uh, they they compress the other pro other projects or files. They they also get this folder. But under this folder, we can see uh we 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 must the basic file we meet or we can see uh it, number one is. We call the behavior, uh, but some other people could uh, change it, change the name. But they must include at least a uh, one uh, behavior, and also the manifest of manifest uh, file. This was this just 
tell um, this file just only tell you uh, what configuration is uh, and uh, in this project also what's your language as like what I said I last the last class it belongs to the pro uh, pro properties yeah. and another important part is also it's the file we can use to import the project into Graph because it's a, a PML, right? So uh, we just package this uh, all the files into into a name like C, but it, we have the initial. Uh, also, we also we call the start a uh, file. We call it a PML. Just to, just to try to find this uh, PML file, uh, PML file, and you can export. Yeah, that. That's the only file you can import, use it to export into your software, uh, core graph software. And another one because the translation, that means this project support which language we want. OK. At this point, I'm going to open this C dot uh, PML file. OK, we can see here we just import all the functions here. So. Uh, I just give uh, before that I want to give you a comparison about uh, what we talk about today. We we, we cover the the, uh, the speech synthesis and uh, also the dialogue. Even after that, we 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 use the sound localization, right? All these functions just just uh, belong can can combine into one category. We call this, we call that is speech. Yeah. So basically. Um, in the in in the series of this course, we just cover all the basic box, the all the basic uh, box we have. But it's 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 in it's it's very differently uh, separated in different uh, category. So um, today we we'll, we'll just uh, all the fu all the functions are just uh, told by Jeffrey. I'll come. I'll come from the speech part. OK. <clears throat> uh, let me see what the functions that they provide. In this speech folder, we uh, we, we, we can um, not call the speech folder. We would call the library. You can see here uh, they have two uh, button, right? So one of that is new box library and also another is going to open box library, which means if you if you have ability or you have the idea, you can create your own library to, and also uh, import or export and share out the libraries uh, to others. Yeah, so <clears throat> you can you can you can name it as you as you want. So uh, back this topic, we just focus on the speech part. OK, and uh, speech library under the speech library, we can see there have the creation and also speech setting. Let's uh, let let's uh, let's let's take a look. What, what is inside that? <clears throat> In the creation, we saw this enemy C, and it's it, it's covered by Jeffrey. We said that right. So it's animate C. Just it's when when Pepper see something, and it also can do some animation. Yeah, like the inspector say, said, uh, the, uh, they, they just give the description. If you don't know what is meaning this box, just uh, try to find this uh, explanation here. This is tell you C thumb test with the animations, and the test can be localized, right? Okay. One important is to say something, and also with animation, so that's very clear. <clears throat> and also, you got choice, and I, I I don't go into details about it, but you can check out this what is going on with there. And uh, choice lights and dialogue. Yeah, we will cover. We will cover this after 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 this part. And a C and a C test even got a speech recognition and mission C test. Okay, this belongs to creation. And also we have the speech setting, and we can set language. Set. Uh, 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 it's, it's kind of a uh, setting parts. You can you can set uh, set a lot of things, but it, you want to more no more. What is that? You just try to find this give you this description. Also, you can go back to website. The, doc, the developer website, they have long list 
to tell you what's, what, what is this box meaning and how to use it with that. OK, back back to this basic function we have here. Uh, we, we we call this a, a C function. OK, um, the project names like C. We, we we can open the property. First of all, we can op open the prop properties. We can see all the configuration, configuration for this project, right? So they just change the application name like C and even gives the descriptions from here. You can see uh, uh, C in English and uh, the, uh, yeah, this is uh, in Chinese, Shuhua Gongneng, and also application ID and even gives the application version. All right. That's a basic configuration by the, these projects. So, uh, appearantly, we know that the whole project looks like. Okay. Okay, then we gotta go to this uh, chart flow, and I mean, program flow panels. And here is the whole project we have. Okay. Um, so, uh, if you want to want Pepper see something, and uh, because you are you are in different countries, like you are in Thai, other people will come from Japan and also from some, uh, Europe and even from China, and they can they try to speak different different languages. So we we can have this kind of box and uh, support. We we can set the language uh, if you want. All right. Uh, in um. But firstly, uh, before I introduce each box, the, uh, the meaning of each box, and uh, we need to know where the project is running and uh, where it is ending. OK, uh, um, I, I, I think I told you I told you guys before we can start the programs like this on start. I'll always remember, remember that and that's the start for the pro program and under that we also see see that some at input, add input. So, and uh, maybe after after this class, we can give you more details about it. But uh, I guess if you don't know about it, you can uh, check about the website in advance. Also, they have the uh, add events from the AI memory. Okay. Oh, okay. Back. So we're back to here. Always remember that this this is start, and this is uh, all the starts of a program. You can enter the root. Right, it is like a main function. <clears throat> okay, first of all, when we run this, uh, when we run this uh, um, program, we can see the first box running is like this. Okay, before this class, I just told you what, what can, how to see the those box. First of all, we can see the names. Uh, it's like function name, right? It's the it say in English. And also they have an icon and you can you can add any add any icon as you want. And uh, also we also can check if there whether the, whether here is have uh, have uh, uh, tools or icon here like this. Uh, um, like this uh, box, <clears throat> but they don't have. <clears throat> OK, so uh, I, I think there's a standard icon. So like this, just uh, the, the standards like uh, we just combine all the summer boxes into one. So which means it's just a generator defaultly. Uh, I can try with I can try. I think uh, I can try about it. <clears throat> Basically, we can try. Uh, two different box. And we just uh, uh, select all. And double, just a right click the, your your mouse and try to convert to the box. And we can see uh, C comes in. C in German, OK. And connect, OK. We just uh, generate one box, but in this box, there's a lot of logic inside also. Some some uh, some basic business logic inside. We can double click in it to, into it and we just entered the, the second level. Uh, so how to define the level? If you can check about here. You are in the C in the German level and the, the root level is the, all, the, all the starts of this program. <clears throat> OK, 
that's how how, how it generates okay and in I, as you as you know we can add any uh inputs and outputs and it also is this important parts for uh, for a box even for a box they, they must have inputs and outputs uh, inputs meaning we have lots of parameters or have a lot of values want to input the function and is trying to and trying some algorithm and to make a function and run with that and then generate some outputs even with the void and some string and uh, integer values just come out from the output parts so in, in here I just generate one box to combine uh, they, they have they have two box inside but it didn't have uh, any inputs and output because I didn't have a line with the with those box that's the reason they don't have inputs and outputs uh, how how you how you can generate the input and outputs you, the first method you can right click this box and try to add a add a box and add a in inputs maybe we can just uh, give the band uh, i mean the uh, active in type and try to add it then they're going to generate the inputs right and we double when we, when we, when we click with the, uh, the second level you can see here we just added the input box then we just uh, try to make those those boxes connect together okay i just uh, give you the example like that um, maybe i'm gonna uh, delay delay <clears throat> okay we know all the, all the details about how to generate this uh, combined function we can double click into it try oh which box we use is box we use then this uh, uh, combined box first of all we can see here uh the, the uses the box like a set language okay we we can set the language just a check about the, the even have this kind of standard box or not so we we'll try to drag this box here just to compare with each other the the uh, uh, they just this it's the same from the name and the icon even the first menu menu part parts and also for the inputs and outputs it's uh, it's all the same and uh, if you want to know what's what's the meaning of this this box you can check the inspector here okay uh for a standard box you know for the uh, for the set language they, they just give you a description so set the language of your robot for the current application and your robot you your robot your robot will speak and i stand the select language as long as long as your application has focus all right uh, but we need to match this box to our properties first of all uh, where is that so where the language at we can uh, we can click here so that there's a properties we try to open it there are 20 languages of support by pepper and you can try to add this other language into your uh your projects but from for here we only select the english and the chinese okay uh then we can back to the set language box here we just try to make a, a parameter and here we just uh try to uh, change one another ones like uh Danish, but you cannot run your program if you, if you don't set the property property uh, uh, language inside uh, so to support Danish, you cannot run with this box, and also you, you will got a fail for it. Okay, I'm gonna just cancel with that. We just uh, make sure that we try to. Okay, we see English, right? So okay, make it like English. This box meaning we just set the other system apart. Other systems uh, have the unique language like the English in Pepper, um, like the. But for for any box, first of all, we should get us understand uh, what the inputs and what outputs. First of all, onset. This box have the onset inputs, which means and also the black. What what was that meaning? It's a band type, right? it's active active inputs 
When we try to run this set language, first of all, just active this set language, try to run with that. And they have a lot of operation inside and they have two op out outputs. One of that's on array. Another one is called what is that? on error. So which means when, when if your language ask can't be set, this uh, this output gonna be triggered and you're gonna fail to set that language in your paper. Okay. So that's the set language. So other other box like that, it's a similar like other box. Basically, they have uh, the inputs and outputs. For C, we just uh, try to they have the C function and they have C and uh, distribution C some test and the test can be localized. All right. Uh, for this logic of of, of the this uh, combined two boxes, they try to run from here and set language. If we got set successfully, and then you're gonna see something. So for C, it just supports you can change the voice shaping and uh, change the speed and uh, change the test. And active this box, then you see something and. Uh, when when we stop seeing the this box gonna finish this uh, life life cycle and try to out of that and then just try to uh, enter the delay box oh delay box is very very important box which means you can delay uh, wait for a moment before tricking the outputs can be stopped any time and some and sometimes from the basic business logic it's very important when we use delay. So basically they have uh, the timeout, the timeout, the time, you can set it, it's like one second. All right. And then they try to delay one second and see something oh, here. Try to run this box. Uh, here we, we can see, see the paragraph. Also it's combined box. When we click on it, they still have this, uh, this uh, uh, in, uh, combined box. It's a similar. Uh, we uh, first of all we use a cell language and uh, they use a test edit. Yeah, they use tests like that. Test uh, edit. Okay, you can check what is going on here. Uh, this they have the description and like you can give a long, long, long test and I even give a story about that. Right? You can write here. They just uh, output the string. You, you just uh, be careful that they, they have different different color outside because they have what well, the screen outputs so this is a package of all the strings outputs to uh, to input this to uh to get the input of the input of set c test okay they also have the c test function so basically what we uh, the out box we use today is from the standard box but out from here <clears throat> c test okay it's belongs to speech and a creation in the creation folder we can see the test test all right okay uh but when we drag here we can see it's the same right and i i i, I think it's the, the two boxes they use a standard standard box sorry and uh, they try try to transfer other in, in string into the c test and we're going to see what is in, in c test you only have the voice shaping and a speed no test here which means they need the test inputs and they're going to finish about that it's going to come out and then we're going to modify the c parameter it's combined box right it's the same and then we're going to try to open it with the only use the c box just to try to make it together but they just change the par parameter but the first the c we can hear they change the voice shaping. The pepper gonna they're gonna say hi, and another they're gonna delay a little bit and trying to see something like uh, we can see the setting. This uh, make this make the same speed slowly, okay, and then gonna finish with that. And the last part is. The last one we use this animate anime say it's a standard standard box animate say. Also, also you have it's a compare with the C and they also have C test and for the animation animate say they all 
they, they really have another card the enemy say test but really don't use that if you if you're interested about that you can use that after this class <clears throat> and uh, uh, like what i said before uh if you want to know what's going on with the, this uh, this uh, this box just see just see here okay description and uh, for the parameter uh, they have the voice shaping speed test and they have two more parameter we can edit First of all, like uh, uh, what Jeffrey said, speaking moments mode. They just uh, they have the three different modes, and one of that is displayed. It's uh, act like a normal C, and also we have random. Just uh, pick uh, randomly from the library. Try to uh, try to move, and also they they really they have real uh, algorithm trying to uh, trying to make some movements according what what you say. That that means we we'll have the contest. <clears throat> And also, you can use the standard animations from yeah from the library. You can try to uh, put, put, you know, try to copy it uh, from the website and, and just add it to it. Okay, uh, but if, but I need to say sorry, but uh, I don't really have the real paper around me um, because there's uh, some situation uh, around here. I think in the future, maybe we have the onsite competition. I, I really want to share more the real operation with Pepper and running the other program in, on the workshop. But here, I'm still wanted to try this to try to tell you if you don't have real robots, we really have we really have this kind of a virtual one. Uh, the, I think we, we call it a simulator, simulator, and uh, they have. A, some 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 functions we can run with peppers. So in today's class, I guess for seeing parts we can we can we can try try to know how the program is running uh, with the, this simulator. Okay, here I'm gonna run this project. We can see the details about it. I'm gonna make it clear. Trying to uh, crack the, the 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 sequence. And I'm gonna ramp that, save the file. Okay, the first one say English, and you can see see something right. And it's got lay and trying to see parameter. But they see something around here, and uh, also this is trying to see the parameter. And uh, another one is called an animation C. Then you can see this uh, back here. And when we run this program, we can see some green dots, right? Green dots, try, we cut this is the dot signal and align with the line with the line and uh, make you make you know where you're programming and uh, make sure which boxes work work well. And it's just when you try when you see this box, uh, this box function, then you can check out the the, the simulator to to see. This program is running. It's running correctly, correctly or not? Yeah. Okay. That's the basic about uh, all the functions combined together to make a Pepper see something differently, even from the parameter and the language supports and do some animation. Okay. Okay. That's the basic part for that. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna try to turn to uh, Jeffrey. Uh, just uh, give the uh, following class. Thank you very much. Right, OK, thank Austin. Right, thanks for your very detailed explanation as always. But um, yeah, today is very regretful that um, uh, due to the situation in Shanghai now that um, yeah, Austin is not able to show you the real robot demonstration. OK, but um, well, we will try to see what we can do next week, hopefully uh, that you can see the real robot. But as what Austin said, yeah, you can still work on uh, the choreograph uh, without much problem. You can still run your code and you can see the effect in in um, choreograph. Although you don't have the real robot, you can still do everything with uh, the the simulator in choreograph. So uh, this is very important, especially for teams who still don't have your robot uh, or you don't even own a, a pepper. Uh, you can still do your development and this development 
whatever that you have done, okay, later on you can you can make it into the team materials and you can submit and it is valid. We will accept this kind of submission uh, so that we will, um, for example, like you submit for the uh, on-site uh, competition. So we will, we will review your work even with the simulators and so on, uh, with the video, with your write up. So if you put effort to develop all this uh, 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 work, uh, we will consider and we will we will still um, um, review and it is is it a valid entry so don't worry if you don't have a robot because uh, we want, we really want to help you so that teams who don't have the robot but very interested in pepper we would like to give you a chance to attend uh, our on-site workshop later in in Robocop uh, 2022 uh, right because that is the the chance or, or that is the the opportunity that um, we will have real real pepper uh, on site. So um, you will have uh, the opportunity to actually work on the real robot on site, okay? So um, whatever that we show here is uh, very important for you to pick up. So uh, please uh, learn this and start develop your robots, okay? Okay, right, so um, just now, uh, Austin already explained everything about this speech uh, synthesis part. I hope by now you already like uh, have some understanding. So the next thing is uh, you, you, uh, I advise you to uh, download our example, open up our example and try to understand. And then uh, uh, try to see this kind of uh, example. Uh, and also this will help you to uh, add in to, or, or you can from this skill or from this function, you can try to design what you want to uh, develop the pepper to for certain application. For example, if you have a human robot with this kind of speech uh, capability, what kind of uh, application that you can think of? So starting actually from the first class now, uh, which you already start develop pepper, you can actually start to think of what kind of application you want to develop. Right, okay. Of course, um, if you only have uh, the ability to say something predefined, because like everything that you want Pepper to do is actually predefined. You 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 have to write everything in the in the choreograph and then you just pre-program everything and Pepper will play. So it is something like uh, Pepper is doing a performance. It's a it's a pre-planned performance. Uh, which might you you might feel like it is not really uh, very intelligent like a robot. Okay, so um, the next uh, part that we are going to explain is this dialogue system development. So for this dialogue system development, we will see how to make people able to listen to you and then respond to you. But before we proceed to the second uh, part of the today's class, I would like to open some short time interval if you have anything to ask, okay? Right, if you have anything to ask. And also for my uh, local um, committee member uh, from Thai, so you might also like summarize a bit what you have just done just now uh, to the audience and, and see if anyone want to ask any question. Uh, okay. Uh, ออนไซน์นะครับก็ถ้าหากท่านใดที่ไม่มีหุ่นยนต์แล้วก็อาจจะมีให้ยืมแต่ว่าอาจจะต้องมีการคอลิฟายก็คือจะต้องเขียนโ
people able to listen to what other people say and respond. Okay, so this is the dialogue system. Okay. So for the dialogue system, the objective is to use Chorograph to implement Pepper robot through different way of simple dialect in different languages. So again, it's a different languages. You can still use it and trigger different event through the dialogue. So not just um, to understand what other people say, but Pepper can respond. And the response is not just verbally, but Pepper can do something physically as well. For example, like, uh, you ask Pepper to go somewhere or take something or do something, for example. Then Pepper will get what you what your instruction is all about and try to uh, respond uh, appropriately, okay, according to what you just said. All right, so this is uh, the objective for, for this part. And then um, the related instruction box that we are going to use uh, uh, are as below. So the first one is the dialog box. So we have a box and this time you can see the icon is different. It's, it's, uh, it's a speech bubble with the high inside there. So this dialog box, but you can see the, the input output is very similar. The input is like on start, on stop, but the output we have uh, on stop and one play a game, for example, over here. So what, what is that? Okay, later you can see in, 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 the, in the demonstration. Right, so this instruction box uh, will activate the dialog engine. Okay, so uh, the software in Nauchi OS uh, within the Pepper robot uh, has one capability of uh, or, or provide us with the dialog engine. So this dialog engine can help us to make Pepper able to interact or, or to hold a conversation uh, in multiple languages. Okay, so this dialog engine is what we are going to use after this to design the dialog system. Okay. Then the next one is the disco box. Okay, so this one maybe not related to the, the, the dialogue system itself, but it is actually a box that uh, will give some movement. Okay, so this is like a disco movement, a dance move. Uh, we use this to couple with the dialogue box because we want to show you that the response from the dialogue box is not just verbally, but uh, you can actually trigger some physical movement of Pepper. Okay, so for example, like you ask, uh, what the pepper can do, pepper say, yeah, I can dance. Then you can, can you show me? Then pepper will say yes. Then it start to move, right? So this is uh, the box that we're going to use uh, to show you this kind of capability. Okay, so it's very simple. The 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 example is very simple. It's just uh, two boxes, and then you try to connect to each other. But here you may realize that the line is a bit different because like it looked back. Okay, it looked back somehow. It, it input, then it look back, then, okay, so what is this look back for? Okay, so later on, Austin, when explain, try to uh, listen carefully on the, this part because this is something like very important for this dialogue system. Right, then um, for the implementation steps, the first one is, remember, you need to change the system property or project property uh, uh, to set the appropriate language. Okay, so if you're using English, yes, you need to check it here. Okay, then there's actually several way to to how to say to bring up the dialog engine. Okay, so you can use the dialog box. Okay, uh, instruction box, or over here we can actually right click on the on the on the gray area in the middle, and you can actually add a new instruction box and select dialog. Okay, so this one will also trigger to, to, to bring up the dialog uh, window. Okay, so you will have something like this. Then you can add topic and then you can, yeah, give some names for the conversation, select uh, the, the language and then add, yeah. Okay, so this is one of the way to, to trigger because you need to create certain uh, a folder with certain new file. Okay, so you, you might want to uh, pay attention on the project uh, directory on the left hand side uh, because like after you do this you you will have some new file uh, folder and file after this okay so you can see like yeah some file and folder will be created and uh, the one very important uh, thing is uh, the something something dot top file okay so that dot top file that is the file that you are going to write the rules or the content for the dialog engine right and then it, uh, those files uh, fall under the my, my dialog folder. Okay, so this 
uh, folder and this file are generated after you trigger the dialog box or, or the dialog engine. OK, right. So in the middle here, you can see the script editor. It got. Yeah, a long line of uh, code. So this is where we are going to put in what we call uh, the rules for the uh, dialog. OK, the rules. So the rules is like you need to tell the engine how to design or how to what kind of um, question and answer you want to write within Pepper. And um, the basic idea is you write the input and output, which is like what is the question and then uh, what is what is what's supposed to be the output. OK, so that is the, the most basic dialogue rule. So you set the question and answer question and answer. But this is the most basic one. OK, there is actually some rules that can make this uh, structure more intelligent. OK, so we will explain the rules as we go on. You will understand like by adding these rules and adding the content, uh, the conversation will become more and more interesting and also intelligent. OK, so rule number one. Is uh, the format of you then double uh, then semicolon, then you have. Uh, uh, how to say bracket with uh, the human input. OK, so anything inside the bracket is what um, Pepper received from human. OK, so if the human input something, then the robot supposed to reply something after the square uh, after the, uh, the, the bracket. OK, so the example is, for example, at like the first one, if the human say hello in the square bracket and in the bracket, you can see like then Pepper will respond. Hello, nice to meet you. So this is how you write uh, for your dot top file. OK, so if you write the first line, hello, and then hello, nice to meet you. So which means every time when Pepper hears someone say hello, then the robot will respond. Hello, nice to meet you. OK, and you can repeat this uh, format with various different kind of question. For example, like, what is your name? Then my name is Pepper. So Pepper, what, are, what do you like to do? And then I like to sing. I like singing. OK, and then uh, you can also say like, for example, goodbye, then uh, Pepper will respond bye. See you next time. Right. So if you write this in the writing format into the uh, into the dialogues, the dot top file, then Pepper will respond according to this content. OK, so this is rule number, uh, the most basic one. OK, the format is uh, whatever input in the bracket, uh, the robot will respond uh, with the part that after the bracket, OK, after the after the bracket. OK, so um, rule number two is based on the content. So now you want to put some context. OK, you want to put some context based on uh, the context, or which means based on something that we have said previously, then what's supposed to respond next? OK, so the example is uh, the, the format is the same you human input and then words that uh, robot reply. But the next line is no longer you, but you want. OK, so you want is something like in Python, uh, a, a, a sub a subset from the from the top one. So it, it actually go one one layer uh, lower from the U. So U1 is actually one layer lower than the U, which means based on if the conversation happened to be like you, then that is that will be the context. And uh, the next question and answer will be follow either U1 or yeah, U1. Then after that, another loop, uh, another, how to say, nested, another layer is uh, you two and so on. OK, so maybe it's not easy for you to understand. Let me put it into example. For example, you write you. Um, let's talk about pet. Then the paper will answer. OK, do you like pets? OK, so this will be the context. So if this is the first conversation, I mean like first set of question and answer, then uh, when um, when when Pepper asks, OK, do you like pets? Then when the human say yes, then it will go to the U1, the number two. Or when the human say, I don't like it. OK, so you mean which mean this Q&A, sometimes Pepper can counter us the question, right? So it is it is not always like human ask and Pepper answer. It's not always like this. 
Pepper can counter us because like you can, if you look at the U is the first line is let's talk about pets. Then Pepper actually say, okay, do you like pets? Pepper actually asks back because that happened in our conversation. Okay, so uh, not always one person asks and one person answer, but it, it, it should be uh, vice versa. Okay, so based on the first line, then the U1, which is uh, one, one uh, layer below the U, it is actually follow the, the context. So this is how we say follow the context, right? And then the U2 actually fall under the second U1. So um, yeah, it will go to like, do you do you want to raise a pet? And then yeah, robot will answer no. Uh, I'm a robot, I can't raise a, a dog and so on. Okay, so this will have the layer. So this is rule number two with the context. Then rule number three is a method for concept. So you need to have, uh, you, you can define certain concept so that you can have multiple uh, output or multiple input, right? Okay, that, that represent the same thing. Okay, so the concept. So the concept is like you write the concept. So instead of you, semicolon, you put concept and then uh, bracket greetings and then square bracket, uh, hello, hi, good morning. And you can realize that good morning is within uh, this uh, uh, open and close inverted comma, right? Okay, so quote uh, semi quotation. Uh, so so this uh, good morning is considered one phrase. Okay, so hello, hi, and good morning. So under the square bracket. Okay, so this is a concept. Okay, so concept means uh, if you see the, the second line, so after the concept, you have the U semicolon and then bracket and greetings over here, you have the curly curly line, right? That, 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 that symbol, okay? So this will follow the greeting up there, which means anything in the square bracket will represent greeting, okay? Then the pepper also answer, also using the same like that thing, the tilde or, or the, yeah, that tilde. Okay, that one, greetings, and nice to meet you. So um, you can imagine like, for example, like when humans say hello, okay, hello is one of the candidate in the square bracket that have the concept of greeting, then Pepper can also randomly choose uh, one greeting within the square bracket, which is Pepper use the hi, and then followed by nice to meet you. Okay, but not always Pepper use hi. Pepper can reply by hello or good morning, nice to meet you, and so on. Right, and then human when say not say hello but say hi, then Pepper will greet uh, in in the same fashion, but randomly choose one of the candidate within the square bracket. So this is the idea of concept, which means with this idea of uh, concept, you can define multiple answer uh, or, or different type of answer for a similar type of concept. So the concept over here is greeting. In example, then the greeting can be hi, hello, or good morning. Okay, so with this, you can make a lot of variation, and Pepper don't always answer the same thing. Yeah, because if you don't have these rules, then every time you ask something, Pepper will always answer the same thing. But if you have this, then yeah, Pepper will be more like human. It will you will un answer or it will how to say give the answer in more variety way, right? So this will give uh, the user uh, a feeling that Pepper actually have some, um, how to say, more lively when, when reply and more human like. Okay, so rule number four is when you want to connect to an event. Okay, connect to an event. So conversation with event one. Okay, so um, event means something happened. For example, like when um, the uh, one sensor is triggered. So that is event. So later maybe uh, Austin can show you what kind of event is available in, in, in Pepper. Uh, but over here, you just imagine that something happened uh, physically. For example, like the right hand or left hand got the sensor. So when this sensor is, is uh, triggered or touched, then you can capture this event and make Pepper to say something based on the event. Right, so uh, the writing is uh, you the same. So in bracket, you have the E then semicolon. So the E represent uh, event. So for example, like hand, left, back, touch. So 
the sensor at the back of left hand is touched by someone, by the user, then Pepper will say, you touch my left hand, right? Then if uh, you use, uh, you touch on the right hand, then you touch my right hand and so on. So you can also write, uh, you can also use the event, for example, like touch the forehead, uh, the forehead sensor and, and other sensor as well, right? So this is uh, the conversation that relates to certain event that you can, later on, um, maybe Austin can show you the list of event that possible for you to use. Right, then conversation with event two, the second thing is, uh, you want to custom certain events. So this event is not from the system, it's uh, not from the sensor, but you want to create some new event. For example, you want the robot to do something else based on uh, your extra programming or based on other boxes that you define in your program. Okay, so the format is uh, what a human say, what a human say, and then, um, then the robot will respond with a custom event and then you the, for the custom event you use the dollar sign okay so the example is um you semicolon can you dance in a square bracket so this is by the human so when humans ask can you dance then the pepper will respond of course verbally then you have the dollar sign start dance equals to one equals to one means on or, 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 or trigger or, or start, something like that, right? Equals to one, because like, if it is not run, then it's zero, then equals to one means true, okay? So you set the variable or the parameter of start dance become one, and it actually trigger uh, or send a, a true signal to another box, which is, we can, we, can, we can connect to other box that Pepper can do things physically. For example, like if we connect this uh, output to trigger a dancing box, for example, the disco box, then Pepper will start to dance. Okay, so this is um, conversation with event. So you can design any kind of box, box or boxes after this that the conversation will trigger that kind of action. Right, so those are the four, five rules, okay, five rules that you can use for your conversation design. So with this five rule, you can actually design a lot. Okay, you can design a lot. As long as you write a lot of uh, this uh, question and answer pair, uh, yeah, Pepper can actually do a lot of response. And you can imagine, you can uh, program this for, for example, like a retail robot. So for example, like you, you, you design a, uh, the Pepper robot to, uh, stand in front of a retail shop and then in front of, uh, for example, one product, new product, and then, yeah. So when people ask Pepper about the new product, then Pepper can answer, right? So you, you write what kind of uh, question uh, the audience will ask and then what kind of answer the Pepper is supposed to be and also what kind of movement or what kind of action Pepper is supposed to do when asked certain things that relate to the product. So with this, capability, you can already design an application to make Pepper something like uh, very useful for, for example, like for the for, for the receptionist counter, uh, reception counter, for example, or some, um, uh, how to say, agent uh, for, for, the, for the promotion of product or promotion of event and so on. There are, there are many things that you can, you can, you can uh, design based on this capability. Okay, right. Implementation uh, steps. So um, what you're supposed to do is uh, you're supposed to uh, edit the instruction box and then um, uh, change the output point. Okay, so this one is for this one. Okay, so you need to uh, make a custom output for, for the box. So this, uh, you need to edit the box and to add in the output point. Okay, so this one also later we'll see the demo. And from there, we need to define the parameter for the output. So the output parameter is stun, set, uh, start dance. And then, yeah, you, you just define the output. Then you will see uh, the, the box, my dialog, just now is uh, three output. If I'm not mistaken, you look at here. It's three output. Sorry. Yeah, maybe it's not so obvious. Yeah. So, yeah. So it will change one of the output, new output. Uh, over, uh, yeah, you will change one of the output so that you can 
uh, output the custom uh, the start dance parameter. Yeah. So that to trigger uh, the disco box down there. Right. Okay. So this one is uh, for the custom uh, event. Then for the dialogue. So in your although now you don't have the real robot, but you can open up the dialogue box down there, which is you can see the conversation. OK, and also from this box, you can actually type in because you can't actually speak to the robot verbally. So you can actually type in and it is the same effect like how uh, when you talk to the real the real robot. But of course, in the real robot, you will use the uh, speech recognition to to get your input. But if you don't have the real robot, you can use this dialog box to key in your input. OK, then the actual effects you can see uh, the robot try to uh, conversation, uh, try to have the conversation with you, and based on your input, then the the, the robot will give the appropriate output based on uh, your dialogue, the rules, and also the the content that you write in the .top file. Okay, so you can check, you can verify with uh, the simulation uh, robot and also the dialogue box. Okay, right. So now I want to pass to Austin to show you this uh, example. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, I guess in this part, uh, we need to quick cover out this uh, uh, this uh, dialogue things because this this basically um, there's a lot of knowledge around the dialogue even when you integrate some application. Uh, with dialogue, you, you must have some problem and difficulty to uh, implement be because they have a lot of details and you need to careful with that. So before we dive into details about how to use this project or even um, how to use the dialogue, I just give you a recommendation and uh, like what I did before, you just go to this website and check check out the Nout 2.5 and basically refer to the dialogue. Okay. Here we, we, we can, you can see here the basic dialog box, but they just show you what is the dialog box and even how to use with that. And uh, you know from what what the what, what what the Jeffrey said, they have a lot of rules inside. Also, basically uh, based on the dialog topic, and they also refers to the basic the the dialog topic. You can try to enter into the internet and they. They just tell you the details how you how to edit the dialogue topic. Even they have some rules with that. It's more it's a more efficient way we can learn about the topic. OK, just to remember that to go to website. If you know more or lot of knowledge about the topic, just search with that. OK, let's back to this uh, project. Uh, because we don't have we, we have the limited time i'm gonna just a quick through out the what, what is uh, dialogue meaning okay we just a project uh, opens this project import it in, into it in, in generally generally we, we can see the other project is uh, mm, oh sorry mm. Other project similar is uh, similar it's a uh, kind of uh, simple we only use the my dialogue uh, box so we can search here. Uh, I, I search dialog. Okay, they have the dialog box. This it is a standard box. We can see here they have the description. Uh, just uh, examples of multi language dialog implementation, and also they have two inputs and out two outputs. But we just uh, created some differently. We added. We added two actual uh, output box uh, outputs here, but I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna explain explain this later and let you know why we add it and how we add it, right? <clears throat> okay, back to the projects. We only the 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 flows workflow is kind of simple, right? We use only use the dialog dialog box and the connect with the, the disco. Uh, but first of all, we need to know the dialog just make pepper uh, have the entrance just that we can talk with pepper and the pepper can respond to us some um, sentences. Uh, that's a basic knowledge of behind this dialog. Okay, 
when we know what is dialog, then we know this is the only function we, we can talk with Pepper. And you see here, we can see the inputs on start and the on stop, which means we can start this uh, uh, the, uh, the box to make it active and also can stop stop it. Just try to stop. You, you, you just stop with talking with Pepper. <laughs> OK. Let, let's think uh, the projects running like this way. We try to run 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 with this project. We can see we must guess and see the green dots trying to have signal into the inputs and to give the operation active is a box and they, they have some outputs. First of all, they had to stop it, which means to get to be honest, stop it, right? Stop it. This which means the dialogue is going to stop. And over and over means that we're going to finish out this project. And also they have another output to start dance. Dance, then they're going to try to make pepper dance like disco and they still have the food. Yeah, but they have this different colors, this string, uh, this string color. OK, we're going to we're going to explanation why we added this input input. And uh, the similar we can see here. Uh, one. When we when we when we're trying to make to see Pepper, just help us to give a, give us a show show a dance, and then then they got they must have the start dance outputs, and we can see two lines out here. One line is to connect the this line, and another line trying to make a disco. So, which means the input whatever its inputs or outputs, they can have multiple line into the input and also output multiple line can be outputs from 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 here. And in this basic logic, we can think this way. Um, when we start when we want, when Pepper start dance, we can well, first of all, we must stop it the dialogue, which means we don't want to talk talk with Pepper. We, we only we only want to Pepper to dance. So that's why that's the reason we just uh, need to line back to stop this dialog, we don't need dialog anymore. And another way, we just try to make people make, make pepper dance. So dance, it's only it's an animation. We, it's like a movement. OK, and uh, sorry. And the first dialog, uh, another important parts, it was it was a quick. Quick. Uh, Quick check it out. We, we we can edit this dialogue. When we click on it, we can see here. We can choose its English version or Chinese. And uh, like what I said before, we have the pro in the properties. We can select the language. We select language we want to support in dialogue. Yeah, that's what we can select from here. And also we can click to edit the box. Okay, the important part. This show this property. They have type. Because it's dialogue and another one is very, very big, very important concepts like we call this topic, which is con connected to any files. The we can choose from here, and it's can my dialogue, uh, example dialogue, and also you can add another dialogue as you want. Okay, that's the big different uh, uh, properties. It differ from the uh, other boxes. So this. Dialogue box to uh, relate to the topic is so it's a uh, very important. <clears throat> okay, just remember that we have two topic. One of the dialogue, another is called we call it example dialogue. Where is that? When we add a topic, then we can see from the folder. One of that's my my dialogue. Another is called the example dialogue. So here we only use my dialogue. First, the first in under this dialog folder, we can see two files. Another one of the files is called my dialog DLG. Uh, that dialog we can choose, which means we can choose language, right? And dialog language. And another one is called topic. This is topic topic file we use to um, we use to compile the scripts and uh, make Pepper just follows the rules to uh, do the business. <clears throat> I'll do the project. OK, first of all, just I just delete the panel from here. I need to add it back and we need a simulator and uh, maybe we've got a robot view back. And uh, before that, that they also have some uh, video monitor. OK, they are back. So just remember uh, another tips about 
will, about the core graph. If once once you just that it click one of the panel and it, they got a missing uh, loose, you can add it from for, add it from here back. Okay, you can pick uh, one of that to, to make a uh, error to uh, back. All right. Uh, okay. Right now we we back to the my dialog my dialog, and we can see the important file we call the topic, and uh, when we open it. Okay, I like to make it zoom it up, zoom it up. Okay. Uh, I I, I guess the uh, um, Jeffrey cover all the basic concepts behind this. Uh, basically, we have five concepts, and you should follow, and you can make a program uh, more aggressively. And uh, first of all, we should know that uh, this is basic for the topic writing, and is and also it's the basic rules, and they just give the you, uh, which means the user the user see something. Like uh, this is a given. What's your name? And the robot is gonna reply with the uh, my name is Pepper. It's the same. And one you you can see this. You start with this line. You can know oh the Pepper see something in the quarter, and it, the, the, the 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 Pepper just say some uh, give the response with this sentence like that. And also uh, they have based the context. To to uh, give a context, how we uh, give the dialogue. We can see here they even have the U one U, and they even have U one and U two, and even they have more U three, U four, and because why we why, why they have all these kind of uh, different levels, and also you just see that they have a specific uh, blank around here, uh, which means it's a tab. Uh, it's a tab. It taps the blank. <coughs> when, we, when we say something to Pepper, like uh, what's her name? And uh, how about the only re response? My name is Pepper. And also you just say uh, hi Pepper on the hi even morning. And the Pepper gonna say morning. Could, you, uh, could we walk something, uh, walk something about the raising pets? Do you have pets? Yeah, that's the question mark, right? They, the, the, which means we don't have the sentence. The, we don't have the sentence done. We need to keep to talking about it. It's a, so that's the reason we have we based this context. Then we have another topic. And it, it's the same. It's same like the U2. Uh, it the cat. So it's a question mark. It's cat. So we don't have this kind of a, a, done the dialogue. So they just keep doing like this. Also, uh, the third third rules. I just quick give the quick uh, uh, cover all these uh, rules. I strongly believe you guys just after this class try it back to the website to know more about the topic, right? And uh, back to the third rules, we have the concept, which means hello morning in the hi and good morning all represent the greeting, and we can. It's it's like the variable uh, in the programming. We we just define a variable, and we can give a different uh, different values in, into this uh, variable. But they all it's I think it's all the same meaning. Like dance, which means dance, dance please, can you dance, dance for us. The all means the for dance, and also for that we have the dollar dollar sign. Which means we have we, we have some events or some uh, special events we wanted to do, and uh, you can see here start uh, we we dollar here from start dance, which means we represent the outputs from say from here. When we let Pepper dance, the Pepper gonna see for sure and please wait and uh, try to outputs with the trigger one. Which means gonna dance and gonna out out here try to make a disco, and also uh, and also to have the food and they try to emphasize this uh um this these parts and also have over you know, which uh, over here and gonna finish all the projects like that yeah then those are the events we're gonna control 
uh, uh, with our program to run with different flow. It's like uh, which flow you want to run and which output you just control um, by this uh, dollar sign. All right. <clears throat> OK, and another big thing I wanted to mention is uh, for the topic. For, for just I just gave quite quick recovery about it, but more details that you wanted to try behind it. And uh, another one is we call it the events, right? Some some events going to be uh, uh, trigger the med dialogue. Before that, I added. Uh, I, I told you guys just to add events from here. Uh, this events even we we have the touch tar, touch sensor or battery low. It's gonna from here. El yeah, battery battery low connect to the charging station and uh, motions like we have the move field. It's like a protection. All those events just uh, just triggered from from the from outside the pepper because we have the we have the people inter inter in, intervention about in, in with, with the pepper so that something events out try trigger of the dialogues like that so I don't I don't give the example about the events and parts I just give you the house I think it's in the homework uh, after this class you can try uh, how to make the events enter enter into the dialogue okay then well i'm gonna try it because we have the time limits when mm, i'm gonna try this uh, uh, project but first of all we we need to know the we need the, the dialogue okay we need the dialogue parts and uh, maybe we just uh, open the script we we'll run with the project okay they're running we we tried to see something to pepper to see something. OK. What's your name? And this is a re return with the uh, pepper. And also we can uh, give the rating. Uh, maybe we can try to make morning. A morning. OK, morning just uh, uh, intrigued this parts and the pepper going to say hi. Uh, could you we'll talk, uh, we'll talk something about the uh, pets? And maybe I'm going to answer with the yes and it's a cat and because we have the context so it's a it's a cat and um, we can give the positive or negative in this part we give negative no okay no and then i'll say something it must be cute with uh, whatever you have and uh, we'll just maybe we want to Paper do some dance. We can see more clearly from here uh, uh, how to make a pro, uh, pepper dance. Okay, dance, please. Okay, we can see here. This output is this uh, 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 from from this output is have had the green dots trying to make a pepper do the disco, right? And when we're gonna finish that, this still running back, this this new running back, and to start the med dialogue again. And and this time, what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna say, what's your name? And it's also still saying my name is Pepper. So that's the basic the logic behind the behind the dialogue. It's a, it's a. Is first of all, first of all, you, you can see this uh, very easy. They only have the one box, but behind it, it have a lot of rules. Be, uh, rules inside. Just uh, try it um, with the different method because you, you must have a lot of logic, must functions you need to use with that with dialogue. Okay, all right. Uh, that's uh, all for my side, and uh, hopefully you guys just uh, try it after this, this, this training course. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back to Jeffrey. Thank you. OK, right. Thanks, Austin. OK, so I will. Share my screen. Okay. Right, OK, so um, we have uh, the demonstration. 
OK, so as you can see, we actually can do a lot of uh, development even without the physical robot, uh, thanks to the simulator in the in the choreograph. And, and you can see, we actually can see the action as well. So just now we can see the dance effect, the disco effect, and we can see the dialogue happen down there. And you can realize the 100% here. So in, in real robot, they will, um, Pepper will use speech recognition. Uh, to listen to the input, the verbal input from the human and try to do the speech recognition. OK, but uh, since we don't have the real robot for, for this uh, uh, development, we can just input on uh, down there and then you can still yeah do the conversation. Just imagine that we are we are talking to Pepper and Pepper respond in, in, in the dialog box as well and do the action. So with this, you can actually design many application. OK, I, I believe you can really design many application and also with uh, the, the the dialogue, the TOP file, you can actually design very, how to say, uh, very rich uh, conversation. And, and um, uh, this will include like, for example, you want to design retail robot, you want to design uh, a receptionist uh, robots and, and so on. So. Please, um, from now on, you can you you can actually have use of these tools to design a lot of robots with uh, this platform. Okay, okay. So um, we have about twenty minutes uh, before nine thirty. So we we will cover a, a short one. So the third part is a short one. So sales localization department uh, development. So it is also like a, a simple box, but um, it is very powerful because like uh, the how to say. The calculation that done down there is actually quite complicated, uh, but yeah, uh, Pepper software and Pepper platform actually try to solve all the complicated stuff so that you can actually focus on the uh, high level application development. OK, but over here we will try to explain what is uh, uh, the theory behind uh, what, what kind of the things that actually happen uh, within the box and um, now you try to see how we can easily uh, realize this uh, sound localization features and you can eventually uh, integrate this uh, function into your conversational application uh, development. OK, so um, this development is uh, to realize the direction in which the Pepper robot turns to the source of sound. So. Uh, not just identify where is the direction, but it also contain the part that will turn the robot to face that direction. OK, so this is very handy uh, uh, function that um, always you will turn on this uh, for, for Pepper to actually serve in a in a 3D space. OK, because like in a 3D space, people can come from any direction and with this function on, Pepper can always turn to any any direction that it hears some, uh, some for example, like someone actually talking to Pepper from behind, then Pepper can actually entertain the guest from behind. Yeah, so uh, this is a very handy tools that uh, I hope you can make use in your application development. Okay, right. So um, you can see the box is a sound LOC lock is a localization, and then the input is uh, on stop on start on stop and then the output is on stop and also sound source location and hit position the two very important output okay we will explain what is this uh, after this uh, but basically uh, the two output uh, after the sound is detected so the angle of the sound related to the hit position and the position of the robot hit relative to other part of the robots but uh, we only use the first one because like we we understand that the hit or the, 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 for, for this function to work uh, because we know that um, the flexibility on the on the neck, the head will always moving, okay? And it might tilt as well, it might turn as well. So uh, the second output is actually try to tell you the position of a head relate to the other part of the body. But uh, over here, what we concern is actually the, this, this in this plane. OK, in this plane, in this plane, where is the what is the angle? So we, we try to get this angle first uh, without make the head actually go to a different direction because like we don't want to actually um, 
uh, calculate or, or get the value if the sound actually come from the top. Okay, so that is not something not relevant because in, in normal case, okay, uh, all those pepper can also have the scenario that someone from the second floor actually shouting <laughs> and pepper can actually uh, look up. But in this case, we only focus on the sound from the surrounding, okay, the same level. Right, so the, if you open up the example uh, from our GitHub, it is just these two box, but you know one is the compile box or the combine box, another one is the delay. Okay, so if you open up the, com the, 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 the combination box, you can see inside there, there's actually a sound, loca uh, sound localization box, which is the original box, and we have a Python script box over there. You can see the Python logo there. So this Python script, uh, we have to write some custom code using Python in order to turn the wheel uh, wheelbase of the robot uh, to turn so that it it, it moves to the direction of the of the of the uh, sound source. Okay. Uh, apparently, like we can do this with uh, some standard box, but uh, this custom code seems to be more effective. Okay. Later on, you can you can do comparison because like I think in the last class of this series, we will have, uh, we will introduce the box to, to show you how to actually move and rotate uh, the robot. Uh, then you can compare those kind of boxes with, with this uh, Python code, okay, right. Right, so uh, it is actually a video over here, but let me explain, um, because it's a PDF file, so we don't have the video here, but let me explain, it's like when um, someone calling Pepper because Pepper initially maybe is looking in front here or looking the other way. Then when someone actually calling Pepper, Pepper will move and you can see the end result is Pepper actually facing that person. Okay, so this is what the sound localization means. Okay, right. So um, okay, before I go to the assignment, so I will once again um, invite Austin uh, to explain the and do the demo for this part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a very easy. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a very, very short, very short and uh, project. I'm going to give a quick uh, review about that. And uh, like uh, the projects before. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, no, uh, I just opened this whole pro pro project. This basically have two box here. One of that is for delay. Uh, like what I, what I said before, delays are very important because you can't delay to try to uh, syn synchronize all the projects. And here we use a delay. Well, we use a delay because the songs localization because you, they use the Microsoft the micro microphone to uh, uh, to uh, uh, accept the voice. And the microphone, it's uh, I think it's only for the limited resource, right? So once you get, you you have this uh, permission to control the to control the microphone, and sometimes you're gonna release. That's the purpose of the delay. The once, but only twenty seconds, you're gonna release this this is the resource um for using the microphone. Okay. First of all, we just follow the logic, and we're going to start this project from here. They have two lines out from starts on starts. One of them is just trying to make a delay, and it's this clock to count it to count count down from the twenty from twenty, and then after the twenty minutes, after twenty minutes, the seconds, it's going to try to flow here to stop right to stop sound location function, and another another part is trying to sound location. Okay. Here we know that it's combined box like we said it before and I'm going to enter this level and we can see the use of sound location. Now um, it's I think this is it's, uh, it's a standard box. We just try the sound localization. We add it. We try to add it. OK, it's a compare with that. It's also two inputs and three outputs and even I have a, 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 the, the same. Um, the same parameter. OK, I guess this is my parameter for 50 and 90s. Um, but uh, if you want to do no details about it, you can uh, check what's meaning those parameters parameter for the sound location. All right, and this, uh, because it only you know, depends on the algorithm. <clears throat> uh, OK, and 
when we start the sound location and in this sound location we can check first of all we, we need to know what's going on with the what's going on with the sound location we the, this gives the description here every time sound detects the boxes and on this on the input outputs and they have two arrow and two, two outputs one of that's for the location the sound source and relates to the robot head position and then the another one's got a robot head position relates to the rest of the body in the this is described uh, they have a different relation to the body or head <clears throat> and uh, basically we use the source location from the head they just uh, uh, trans out trans out to the type is like numbers uh, which is the arrow uh, to, to, to define the direction of that okay um when we and when we run this program, we're going to start the start the localization. When uh, if you have, but, but I don't have the real pepper around me. If you have the pepper, you're going to see something from the behind. But from the behind, the, the, the voice sound is going to transfer into the microphone, and the pepper is going to realize the source location. They just uh, give the direction with the two uh, to, with the arrow uh, arrow uh, that. And then it's gonna transfer to the Python script. Okay, this is Python script like uh, like it's uh, it's the way it's. Uh, I think this is a standard box for you to have uh, uh, have the the Python skills. You can add your own uh, your own your own program. Okay, from here we can see they have uh, the the standard standard box, and they just. Uh, it's added to another input, but it only for it accept this uh, this debt. And uh, in the standard box, we only see here it's just uh, it's, it's empty. It's a whole structure of the the standard standard Python uh, Python class. But we can edit or add edit and add some some uh, code inside. It. Okay, first of all, in this code we can see here this is uh, added some emotions because. We we just uh, accept the other direction, uh, the sounds of our, our direction. Then we need to move to move to it. So that's the reason we use the AR motion motion, and uh, um, the uh, the only the only the only inputs uh, uh, is from here. The name is the input. Okay, it's the same, and uh, they just uh, accept the the the, the that. And uh, it's very perfectly matched with the move to the parameter. So they have the X direction and a Y direction. Another one's uh, it's uh, I think it's Z because it's three dimensions. <clears throat> okay, but we, we really don't have he, we will, uh, mention this Python script here. We only care about the sound location uh, when, when we use the pepper and in the business logic. Okay, when we run this, we can see here. Uh, the program okay okay because the, the oh, sorry this it, it can run on the simulator because they need to have driver uh for the real pepper um if you run on the real pepper this is going to work okay just don't 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 be scared don't, don't be afraid about that all right uh and just wait to wait 20 seconds uh they're gonna st stop all the projects okay and also uh, they, they mentioned that if you ha have some problem with the program, you're going to see the red going to show up. It, at the time, you can see the log viewer. OK, let me check about it. The log, the log. Sorry, script the resource view. Uh, oh, the log viewer. OK, this is to give the kind of finding the service AL sound located location because we don't have the real pepper. So get, they just uh, mentioned that important log. If you don't uh, get an understanding, you can search from the web or, or you can ask to me directly. All right. Uh, so basically, that's all about a sound location. Um, I'm going to back to uh, Jeffrey. Thank you very much. OK, right. Thanks, um, um, Austin. Hopefully next week we can have the robot and maybe you can see this part, right? Yeah. OK, so OK, let me put up my 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 screen. OK, so um, we have done this. So basically we have uh, covered 
all the three parts today uh, for all the speech interaction uh, related uh, functionality that uh, we need to know in order to develop Pepper into a social robot. Okay, right? A social robot or, or robot that able to uh, hold a conversation with uh, uh, the guests or the human uh, surrounding the, the robot. Okay, so um, just as a, as a practice or, or exercise, so we, we have prepared assignment. Okay, you can you can actually try to see after you have practiced all the example. Uh, you see, you can test yourself, see if you can, yeah, uh, develop something like this. So, for example, like write a dialogue file by yourself. So you you need to create the dialogue file by yourself, and then you you can add the sound localization. But you can omit this part because you don't have uh, the the robot. So that uh, that part is just for the for the robot to turn to the sound source while answering the question. And for the question, we already like put like five um, question, but you can actually choose whatever question and answer you, you like, right? Uh, in order so you have a question and answer. And of course, if you have, for example, the, the, the how to say contextual uh, question, for example, like first question is about pets. Then after that, they will talk about dogs or, or cats or uh, then after that and, and so on. You got the different layer. So try to use all the five rules that we, we, we introduce in the example to, to see how you can um, design a uh, nice uh, conversation. OK, right. And then you okay, control by down there. You can sound start and stop for the sound localization control by voice. OK, this one is uh, you use you, you can use some. How to say you you can have uh, like if you if you detect start, then uh, the robot move. OK, you can stop then robot stop. So you can use the event uh, uh, way to, to trigger the event. As well, or, or the the way to trigger the the action that we show in the disco example. Then you can also use um uh, add in something like can exit valve voice control. For example, in your Q and A, you got one part that okay. So um thank you, Pepper, bye, and so on. Then after that, the program will go to the on stop. Yeah, will will go to the end. Right. So these are all the things that you can imagine. Uh, and and as a practice, you try to work out how to actually implement this into the choreograph way. Okay, then you can check uh, your output with the simulator. And if you have any difficulty or have any problem, yeah, feel free to bring your question to, to us. Okay, next week, for example, or you can contact uh, Austin or, or we can discuss, you can post in the forum and so on. So we, we, there, there are many ways that you can discuss with us. Okay, so this is the assignment for today. And we, yeah, we have come to the end of the class. OK, so we have about three minutes uh, before 9.30. Uh, so once again, thanks for your patience and I hope you have learned something new today. And um, I, I hope you can start like work uh, the application or development with your choreograph. OK, so before I end, so I will open up since we already have a few minutes, so we will open up the Q&A. And yeah, feel free to ask us any question regarding this, or maybe if you have problem from last week also, yes, feel free to ask us. And yes, you can ask us in Thai, no problem. Okay, so I would like to uh, uh, ask my um, local committee member to yeah summarize and explain and 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 yeah um, announce to the audience, and we can start our Q and A. Uh, okay. อ่าครับก็เอ่อจากที่เขาสอนมาทั้งหมดเนาะเราน่าจะทําได้ถึงพาร์ทที่สองนะครับส่วนพาร์ทที่สามที่เป็นเอ่อ Sound Localization Development เนี่ยอันนี้อาจจะทําไม่ได้เนื่องจากว่าจะต้องใช้หุ่นยนต์จริงเนาะเนื่องแต่ว่าถ้าถ้าเอ่อหากท่านใดมีหุ่นยนต์อยู่แล้วเนี่ยก็จะสามารถทําในส่วนของพาร์ทที่สามได้นะครับแล้วก็ในส่วนของ Assignment เนี่ยก็คือเขาให้เราไปลองเขียนไอตัว Dialog ไฟล์ที่เอ่อคุณออสตินเคยเปิดให้ดูนะครับแล้วก็ลองเ,อเขียนถามตอบ5 question ที่เขาให้มาเนาะแล้วก็อาจจะลองเติมในส่วนของ sound localization ไปนะครับถ้าหากท่านมีในส่วนของอตัวหุ่นยนต์ paper อยู่แล้วนะครับแล้วก็สุดท้ายที่จะมีเงื่อนไขเพิ่มมีหนึ่งอันนะครับก็คือในส่วนของ start stop นะครับของอ sound localize นะครับแล้วก็สามารถที่จะ exit จากในส่วนของการถามตอบเนี่ยได้ด้วยการใช้เสียงนะก็คือจะหา wording เช่นแบบ uh, thank you paper อะไรเงี้ยครับเพื่อที่จะบอกว่า
เอ่อให้หยุดการทํางานในส่วนของที่เรากําลังทำเดียร์ล็อกกันเนี่ยนะครับก็เอ่ออยากให้ทุกท่านได้ไปลองเขียนกันดูครับจะได้เอ่ออยากได้เข้าใจแล้วก็จะได้เหมือนว่าได้ลงมือทําอะไรประมาณนี้เพราะว่าสุดท้ายแล้วก็อย่าลืมนะครับว่าก็ทุกทุกทีมจะต้องทำเอ่อเหมือนทำการคอลิฟายกับทีมอื่นๆนะครับเพื่อที่จะเอ่อได้หุ่นยนต์ตัวจริงนะครับไปทดลองใช้ในงานแข่งจริงๆนะครับแล้วก็เอ่อหลังจากนี้นะครับก็ถ้าหากท่านใดมีคําถามนะครับก็สามารถถามไปเลยนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็นปัญหาตอนอาทิตย์ที่แล้วหรือว่าปัญหาในอาทิตย์นี้ที่เจอมาก็ได้ครับโอเคเจฟรี Right thank you so yeah so if you have any question feel free to ask us or if you have any comment or anything you want to ask feel free to communicate with us is there any 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 question from the audience yeah anything you would like to ask Yeah, you can ask. Yeah, almost anything regarding this class or the class before or the competition or paper in general. Yeah, no problem. Any anything that you would like to ask? Because I would like to know also like uh, the the way how we deliver this class is it effective? You can catch up, and are you ready to learn this? And also. Uh, will you come like next week so that you can learn more things? Like next week we'll talk about um vision vision system. So, uh, not just a conversational skill, but Pepper also has cameras that you can use the camera to do some interaction with the human. So next week we will talk about how to use the vision system to actually interact with uh people uh in front of Pepper. Okay, so do you have anything you want to ask before we end the session? Anything? Yeah, you can ask in Thai, no problem. Yeah, we have our local committee member here to answer you in Thai. Any question? No. <laughs> okay, right. So uh, if you have no question, then okay. So um, we we will we will close this session. So because like time is already like past uh, nine thirty. Okay, so I would like to close this session. Thanks a lot for you uh, to attend today uh, as a second class, and I really hope that you can continue attend this class to learn more about Pepper. And also, I would like to encourage you to start thinking about the Pepper application that you plan to build, because with that application that you want to build in mind, then you will start thinking like what kind of a function that you need to develop. And with that, you can you 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 can relate more with the class, uh, because like when when you have some objective in mind, then you will ask like so how 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 can I create this function? How can I create this application? And from there, you can start to relate like oh okay, this part is something useful for my application and so on. So you will get this gather this information, and by the end of this session or, or by the end of this online classroom, you able to develop your. Your online class, uh, your 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 application for for paper, and also it will be useful for your entry for for this uh, competition. Okay, and also uh, just a reminder that we have on-site competition and also we have online competition. So yeah, feel free that um for for you to develop and also submit us whatever that you have developed for the uh technical review. Okay, right. So yeah, hopefully uh you can. Benefit uh, from the class and start to do your development. Okay, so today thanks for attending, and I hope to see you next week. Uh, and also, I hope you can do some exercise and also tell us or ask us something more. Okay, uh, about the class and also about uh, paper development, right? And also, not forgetting, uh, thanks Austin from Softbank Robotics, and also thanks uh, our local committee member for the Thai support. Right. Thanks, everyone, and I hope to see you next week. Okay. Right. So see you. Bye bye. See you.